Well, hey guys, I had to get on and share this because um, it's so encouraging and I really feel like Jesus is at the door. So here's why. So the other night, <clears throat> I didn't know what it meant, but I had a dream. I was sitting in a banquet at a table and um, we were like about to have a meal, you know, and in my dream, I knew it was kind of like a wedding feast, like a celebration. And right before I woke up, I heard 917. So I looked up the meaning because I don't really do numbers very well. Um, and it says, used 49 times in scripture, the number nine symbolized divine completeness, completeness or conveys the meaning of finality. Christ died at hour nine of the day or 3 p.m. Remember, God told me in a previous message that I'm coming on the ninth hour to make the way of salvation open to everyone. The day of atonement, Yom, uh, Yom Kippur, I don't know how to pronounce that, don't make fun of me. Yom Kippur is the only one of God's annual feast days of worship that requires believers to fast for one day. This special day considered by many Jews to be the holiest of the year begins at sunset on day nine of the seventh Hebrew month. Leviticus 23:32. Now, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but if you look at the meaning of 17 in the Bible, it says it's overcoming the enemy and complete victory. God overcame the sins of rebellious humans when he began to flood the earth through rain on the 17th of the second Hebrew month. Noah's ark and eight passengers rested on the mountains of Arafat on the 17th of the month. Uh, right in the middle of God's annual holy period known as the Feast of Tabernacles. So, I feel like God is saying all this because the other day he gave me an April 16th date, which I didn't know what that meant. I was just like, you know, why are you giving me April 16th? And then he talked about two dreams, which talked about um, the water, you know, how they're starting their water plan and everything. Well, I was just counting. So, I was counting just to, you know, see what it was. I was watching this video someone sent me, which was really cool to remember the name of it. Um, but it talks about the whole timeline. And I don't agree with everything he says, but I love how literally he showed me that God has been speaking me to the entire time because all the scriptures he was using the same chapters is what God was giving me. And I didn't even know what it was meaning. But it was like the prophecy of Jonah, the prophecy of um, Ruth, um, you know, uh, Esther. Like there's different prophecies in the Bible showing, Jeremiah, showing the rapture. And um, so, you know, God has been giving me all these scriptures and people are like, oh, you know, those are random scriptures. Well, they're not. If you look at this video that someone sent me, I was amazed. It was like prophecy something. I wish I wrote it down. I forgot to write it down before the video started. Um, but I'll try to find it and put it in the description. Um, but if you add, I was talking to Jesus Saves about it. And if you do 9 plus Christ equals 17. So I thought that was interesting. And she said she was looking at the signs of the heavens and... April 20 so I counted from like the 16th which would be the 15th in Israel um so you know around the 22nd or 23rd of Israel um and she looked at the signs of the heavens because you know the Lord showed me an April 16th message and there's no coincidence with God you know he gave me this message April 16th the day that he randomly gave me that April 16th in the car and on this day, you know, that message, you can go back and look at it, but it has the Jonah prophecy in it. Um, and then the very first part, it says seven, my child, seven, it's coming. Mega earthquakes, tsunamis, trumpets, I'm at the door. And then he talks about how to be saved. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cry right now because... <laughs> I feel like he's really at the door. Um, and it, what's amazing is another sign he gave me was um, Aurora Lights in Alaska. And everyone was like, well, they're always seen in Alaska. Well, no, they're not. There's some months where they're really, really visible because I looked it up. 
and April 15th, they were really visible and they had the green, like he had said, you know, the green and all that and, and, and the pretty colors. And, um, so that was another sign. Um, and then, so she looked it up in the heavens. It was just Victoria at the foot of Christ in Gemini is what it is. Victoria means victory of Boaz and Christ. Um, so I just think April is a huge high watch date. You know, those days especially. Um, or, um, and then I also think that um, May, the beginning of May is high watch date because of the solar thing. So here's the thing, what I felt in my spirit. Jesus said, you know, the earthquake, the tsunamis, and what I've been feeling is as soon as the rapture happens, all of that's going to take place. The big tsunami in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean island, uh, California Falls with the big earthquake. I think all of that literally is going to happen. War, because he said when the nukes go up, we go up. Um, it's also like Earth Day that day, someone had said, which is kind of interesting. But um, anyway, um, I'm not, you know, saying that I know the, the day or the hour. I'm just doing the clues that Jesus has given us and me. And Jesus saves and Cassie from faith over fear. You know, he's giving all of us clues and many other believers out there. He's been giving, giving clues. Um, so I really feel like he's at the door. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I don't know what all this means, but, um, you know, there's no coincidence with God. And what's amazing is someone had said, so the Lord also said rocks falling, meteorites falling. And he gave me that word um, in a previous message. Well, that's supposed to happen like on the 22nd, um, you know, with the meteorites and everything. So uh, according to videos that I've seen on TikTok, now I'm not like a, a NASA person or like, astronomist or anything like that so I don't know I don't check out the signs in the heavens I literally say everything that I hear okay I'm just obedient to Jesus because I love him so much and um you know it's just my job to keep warning people and I'm just a watch woman and I'm really just trying to wake people up for Christ that's my only that's my only motive you know so if you don't know Jesus ask him to come into your life ask him um, to forgive you for your sins. When you when you first don't believe in him, you know, you're, you're repenting from your sins. You're asking him to take him away because you believe in your heart that he died for you on the cross. He shed his blood to take away our sins. The sin of guilt, I mean, it, it's been paid. The penalty of sin has been paid, you know. So God doesn't see sin in the ones that are under Jesus Christ because he changes your heart. He gives you a new heart. He gets rid of the heart of stone and gives you a new heart of flesh. And you just start to walk in his spirit. And you're going to fall in love with Jesus that you're not going to want to do those things. He's going to take those things away from you. Sorry. I feel the Holy Spirit. I'm just excited. And, you know, I feel like our king is coming. And I don't know when. I don't know when. Because, you know... I know things are getting getting bad, but I just wanted to share this encouragement. Don't give up because he's at the door. I believe that he's at the door and whether it's, you know, this month or next month or, but I believe it's this year. I definitely believe it's this year and he's trying to wake you guys up and um, I'm just going to keep giving the messages and I'm just going to keep being obedient and um, I'm... I literally say everything that I hear, you know, today in, in that 16th message. Oh, uh, let's see if there's any other ones. You know, he talks about how to be saved, the Philadelphia church. He talks about the dragon, Revelation 12 sign, you know, how the dragon tries to devour the rest of them. There's so much symbolism in scripture if you would just look at it and not rely on your own understanding and rely on the spirit to show you guys. Okay, well, you guys pray on this. Always ask Jesus, you know, and hey, if you know anything else, feel free to message me. <laughs> okay, guys, have a blessed day.